Hello there, everybody. Now, I would like to welcome a new addition to the Astro Safari 727 driveway. What we're looking at here is a 94 Buick LeSabre. Just picked this up for 900 bucks. Of course, it's not perfect. It does need a little bit of body work. Um, a little bit rusty right there. Got a little bit of rust underneath. Got good tires on it. And in the back bumpers a little bit. That can probably be put back together. And, uh, the lights broke. That can be fixed. And then a few junkyard parts can't fix. And here's the worst part: is this left or right front fender is broken up. And they put plastic fenders on these. But we'll just, uh, you know, find another one for it and slap it on. Oh, and that one piece there is missing, but runs and dries real nice. Um, take a look inside. Leather, in, leather interior, which I hate leather seats, but this is what it's got. Looks like the steering column might have been replaced at one point because it's got a gray one but a blue interior. So I don't know if it originally had a blue one or the gray one's horn works. I hadn't tested that out. We'll start it up. Runs real good. And it does have a little bit of hesitation when you first give it gas after it's been warmed up for a while. I just had it running. So it might be got new plugs and wires in it he said but might need fuel injectors and it also might need an in intake gasket done on it pretty soon there's a little bit of leakage there and he told me that interior is in nice shape except the headliner's sinking but they all do that um, climate control that works air conditioning works AM FM cassette. I have a CD player I'll swap that out for. Change oil soon, which is, probably needs to be done. Um, nice ride. I'll take a look under the hood. Pop that open. The passenger side window and front the passenger side front window and the driver side rear window don't work. We'll have to work on those. You know, it's a $900 car. Bought it mainly to, you know, save some wear and tear on a van. That van's got less than a hundred, less than a thousand miles to go before it flips up 200,000. This one's got 192,000 on it, so that's not far behind. But as you can see, it's got the 3.8, which, which is one of the best engines GM ever made. Might need uh, might need ball joints too. Probably gonna want to do that before I drive it too much. As you can see, there's a little bit of wetness around here. A little bit of coolant right here. But we'll see how how that works out. A little bit of hesitation when you first get a gas, but it's not bad. Transmission shifts nice and smooth, uh, drives real nice. The other thing I want might want to check is the uh, ignition modules. Might want to take them apart. And they could be they have a tendency to corrode on these. Clean them up. Yeah. So for nine hundred dollars it's not bad. Maybe get this to where I can drive it this mostly to work and back. The air conditioner compressor's clicking on and off. I'm happy with it. It was actually the first car I looked at, and I don't usually jump on the first car, but as it happened, I called on it, 
went and looked at it, and as it turned out, I know the guy. Opened the door and said, hey, I know you. So offered him $900, and he took it. So there you go. Good tires. The hubcaps are there. So, yeah. There you have it. 90, 1994 Buick Saber. So, you have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye. And I forgot to mention, i got to wait till Monday before I get my insurance and plates on it, so I won't be able to drive it till then. In Michigan, it's legal to drive at home a vehicle that you just purchased with no plates, as long as you got your signed title with you. So, 